The visas tell the story. Donald Trump can't find what he's looking for to staff his beach club, his golf course, his vineyard, his modeling agency, and even his own Trump organization. Which is why, for the last 15 years, he's been importing workers. The U.S. Department of Labor has approved at least 1,256 requests of what it calls foreign guest workers for Trump companies. And according to sources, not just any foreign guest workers. Sources say Trump likes them pretty if they're women, good looking if they're men. And he has a fondness for accents. Nowhere is that more evident than here at Trump's Mar-a-Lago Beach Club, where 849 requests for foreign guest workers have been approved in the last decade. They are waiters, cooks, and housekeepers, and various other positions. Some of the foreign guest workers told us their Trump jobs allowed them to live the American dream. A former executive chef at the Mar-a-Lago Club told CNN the guest workers are more dependable than U.S. workers, have more skills, and says they cherry-picked some pretty people, explaining the club hired attractive foreigners for frontline positions. The chef called the practice common at many clubs and restaurants in South Florida. That explanation, though, is slightly different from how Donald Trump explained why he has to hire foreigners. You cannot get help during the season. The season goes from like October till March. It's almost impossible to get help. Trump's argument in all cases of importing foreign guest workers is that no Americans would accept the jobs he is offering, that he tried his best to find Americans and couldn't fill the positions. It's a requirement on the Department of Labor visa applications. The employer must verify that reasonable attempts were made to hire Americans first and only after proving Americans would not or could not fill the jobs will visas be granted. And the Trump Organization claims it followed the regulations to the letter. Tom Veenstra says in the case of Mar-a-Lago, he just doesn't believe Donald Trump. We have hundreds of qualified candidates for jobs like these. Veenstra is a senior director at the Palm Beach Career Source Office, part of a state-funded program to help workers get jobs. The services here are free we help place local residents into jobs like those. Only once, Veenstra says, did Trump make use of his services. He sent four candidates. One was hired. He never heard another word. Labor Department records show Donald Trump and his various business interests have applied for and been granted foreign guest worker visas at his Jupiter Club in Jupiter, Florida, at the Lamington Farm Club, and the Trump National Golf Club. 39 workers were brought in in the H-2A visa program as agricultural workers to work at Trump's vineyard estates in Northern Virginia. Another 280 workers were brought in on special H-1B visas to work as fashion models, engineers, and food and wine experts. And believe it or not, Trump even requested to import fitness trainers and aerobic instructors because he says he couldn't find any in South Florida. Uh, which came as a shock to Miami fitness instructor Nick Soda. That's absolutely ridiculous to think that you had to go out of the country to find a qualified fitness instructor or, or trainer of any kind. And Aaron, it appears the Trump companies will continue to seek employees from overseas. Records from the Department of Labor show Trump has begun the visa process for filling as many as 78 jobs this coming fall for cooks, waiters, and maids at at least two of his Florida properties apparently because he doesn't think he will be able to fill those jobs with Americans.